Bonjour, everyone. I'm Xia Yu, the third personality of Aurora. Since our followers are international and Aurora doesn't speak English well enough, so I'm gonna take over to show you guys this blogger on Instagram that's selling you guys the new drug. In a nutshell, she's saying that all the photos of fitness models on social media platforms are photoshopped. And because all of them are fake or made up, they don't actually have to work out hard as long as you have a Photoshop app and know the tricks of filming it with a flattering angle and lighting. She also says that those fitness influencers who work out on a daily basis and take those hot pictures of their bodies to encourage people to do workout are raising the bar on the world's perception of beauty while putting enormous amount of stress on girls with less desirable body types. So fitness influencers like us are to be blamed for disgusting behavior. She further insulted us by spreading her own belief on the fake result we show with her before, during, after progress photos. Before digging into it, I'd like to show 20 selected progress pictures from nearly 20,000 pictures I've collected from 3 million followers who have been following my workout videos after I sent out before and after picture requests last week. This aforementioned blogger uses the worst picture of herself to set as an example, telling the world to just be who you are and be okay with your imperfection, which we totally agree with this point of view. Aurora and I made a special video to thank our lovely followers when our fitness channel on Billy Billy has gained 500,000 followers. We did mention the same point of view about imperfection and loving yourself. If so, why would I say she's selling drugs? Let's dive into it. When you go on social media and see posts like hers, you get a quick boost of confidence so you don't feel bad about yourself. You found yourself a great excuse to not discipline yourself on having a good diet and a regular workout routine. You found yourself a getaway, the escape from reality. You get a momentary sense of pleasure as if you have just taken drugs. You allow yourself to activate the pleasure system of your brain. What is the pleasure system? According to Pleasure System in the Brain, written by Michael A. Bozart from the Behavioral Neuroscience Program at the State University of New York at Buffalo, the sense of pleasure itself means a good feeling you get in response to food, sex, and drugs, and is driven by the release of a range of neurotransmitters in many parts of the brain. Motivational toxicity is apparent when pleasure, normally effective in influencing behavior, lose its ability to motivate the organism. This is typically seen in human drug addicts that neglect formerly potent reward and focus their behavior on acquisition and ingestion of drugs. After reading the post on her profile, it is easy to convince yourself that you're already perfect when you're not even close to the best version of yourself. You'll fall in love with this feeling of fantasy. Hence, you'll no longer pursue a better version of yourself. Instead, you'll focus on taking her drug as you crave for that momentary sense of pleasure. Like, dude, I gotta love myself. Or, hell man, I deserve the E. Or even, fuck those influencers on raising the bar on world's perception of beauty. I'm the best. Then, your carefully developed self-discipline all of a sudden goes to waste. And you start letting yourself go and eating carelessly late at night. A famous psychologist, Douglas Lyle, has mentioned an idea on his speech, the pleasure trap, that all kinds of creatures genetically have a tripartite motivational system, pleasure seeking, pain avoidance, and energy conservation. He encouraged us to imagine an experiment. We are going to put a man in a cage, and there are two buttons. The blue button is going to be a regular old button. And if he hits it, a door will open and he'll be able to fly out and fight, trying his very best to get what he wants and find the pleasure from doing that. But the red button will be a magic button where we'll put a little glass pipe in his head and drive it down into the pleasure centers of his brain. And we're gonna put cocaine in that glass pipe. And every time he hits that red button, he's gonna activate the pleasure centers by flooding those centers with dopamine. Dopamine is the main chemical that causes him to have an excited euphoria that we call pleasure. Now, let's think about which one he's gonna do. Comment 1 if you think he's gonna hit the red button. Comment 2 if you think he's gonna hit the blue button. The answer is, he is going to hit the red button because he's gonna save energy in the process of pleasure seeking and avoiding pain. 
if we keep putting cocaine in that, he's going to keep hitting that red button often. And in about 10 to 12 days, he'll be dead. He's thinking and feeling that he's being extremely biologically successful because he has activated all three motivational systems at the same time. Pleasure seeking, pain avoidance, and energy conservation. But he's actually self-destructing. If you put the work into yourself, what stimulates you is not just your pleasure system, but your reward system. Brain's reward systems serve to direct the organism's behavior toward goals that are normally beneficial and promote survival of individual and goals that have benefited the species from an evolutionary biological perspective. The healthiest way to live is to chase your reward system and get the pleasure derived from doing that. That's the only way you drive a sense of accomplishment, which is the basis of sense of belonging and purpose. Yes, it is difficult to diet properly and exercise regularly, but there's a reward to that, which is feeling great. Like you literally feel better. After you even see just a little bit of a result, you'll look better, you'll sleep better, and you'll love better. What that does is structuring your whole life because you'll have that self-discipline not only to your body, but everything in life. You are sincerely proud of yourself, continuing to raise your ability to challenge yourself, fight for survival, raise your worth. You are slowly getting better and better and better all the time. And through that, you'll find a sense of belongingness in this world. That's called loving yourself. By then, do you think you'll still feel the anxiety and harm from the fitness influencers who encourage you to do workout? Those have no goals, have lost sense of belongingness and sense of being, are the ones that'll feel anxious and angry because of another person's excellence and will accuse successful people to be fake because they can't achieve their own goals. Even if you do feel some stress, it's normal and also a good thing. It's the norm in biological evolution to want to keep adapting to the environment, to fight, and to survive. You should want to improve. Or what's the difference between you and an animal? At this point, I do want to emphasize again my view on beauty. I never believe that the skinnier, the prettier. Oppositely, I love thick girls. My body type in most Asian girls' eyes is considered a thick girl's type as well. That's my point. Exercise is not because of the goal of Victoria's Secret model or Korean Idol's body type, but to gain the control of healthy and self-disciplined lifestyle. I never compare myself to a skinnier girl because I know that kind of body type is not something that my gene and my bone structure could ever reach for. It's important to know your gene and bone structure, find your body type, and then you can go from there. Here comes my last point. Never stop working hard, but learn how to balance effort and ease. Sometimes you'll achieve more, by doing less. Sometimes you're trying really hard, you're pushing, you're striving, you're burning out of your energy and even suffering, yet it's not getting anywhere. Do not stop trying. You'll still have a goal. Focus on the process of getting towards that goal than the actual goal itself. Like those comments I got from my followers who are having a hard time to achieve their desired weight or body goals. They just simply enjoy the process of exercising and healthy lifestyle. And one step at a time, they are slowly moving towards to their goals. Diet properly, work out regularly, have a healthy and self-disciplined lifestyle. Not because you hate your body, but because you love your body. Improve because you want to, not because someone's opinions or judgments make you. Let go of everything that keeping you from being the best version of yourself. Don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel, oops, Aurora's channel. Since this channel belongs to Aurora, I'll see you when I see you.